Okay, Victor here one more time with for Tyrone in Maryland and uh, uh, here we are in the car. I mean, I, I checked out and you know, I thought to myself that I, if, since I have star diagnostic, I can see if oxygen sensors work or don't. So uh, for that reason, I went out and checked the sensor that is, wasn't reading. So basically, yes, the connector was turned, pins were not lined up, everything is broken, but I set it up so it works now. I pulled the carpet out over here and I set the connector straight and then I pushed the pins, remove the cover and individually push connector, uh, the pins onto connector. So now, this is LH1, this one was working and we have the readings on LH2, which is awesome. So right now, at this point, I got um, both uh, banks settled, they both work and i'm really really happy with that very happy with that because now i don't see any kind of like weirdness here with the engine as you can see both readouts are equal injection timing is equal as you can see this is very very nice and oxygen sensors believe it or not do recycle hovers around 50 with ac on though but still very nice so we got our span <clears throat> high to low sensors are good there is no overheat because the temperature right now is from last video I drove it now I just have it sit idling the hood is open yes I agree that that is obviously giving you more of the coolant I mean the, the you know the engine cools off better obviously but with no fan clutch with AC running Adaptation values are at zero, but they will adapt. And yes, I'm pretty much happy with the engine. Last thing to do is the engine mounts. Now I can clear all the codes. So there is nothing there. And yeah, that's how we're gonna do. AC is very nice. I mean, I, I love it. Yeah, the instrument cluster, obviously. Okay, the door lock situation, uh, the passenger side actuator and driver side actuator. I checked it out. The pump still works. There was a mouse nest over there, by the way, under the seat, but the pump works. And um, the trunk lock and fuel filler cup, uh, the cap, the, the, the door, fuel filler door, uh, that one also is good. It holds pressure vacuum, pressure vacuum on, on the trunk actuator. So we have issues only with these two. Uh, this one is completely blown, the one on the passenger side, the driver side blown on pressure, but vacuum it holds. But anyway, they, they're to be replaced. So you, you're, gonna, you're gonna have to deal with the regulator and alongside you just change those vacuum pods in here that activate door locks. And then you should be good to go. Do not use these because most likely there will be some leaks over here. And if there are any leaks, then the pump is gonna burn. So that's about all. This is a very quick <clears throat> addition. And I'll just keep going, keep moving on because I have this car, I have to park it so I can work on another one. All right, so this is all. This is Victor at historymercedes.com. Thank you for watching.